this video, we'll very quickly separate this night image with the wings. We're going to take a look at why we merge to specific color points. Now, working with the 12 color, you get the flexibility and some more control than the 6 color. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and delete all the colors that are not in the image. There's no rows. I'll delete that. Magenta, delete that. Violet, delete that. Blue, I don't see anything there. Delete that. Azure, delete that. Not going to see any cyan in there. Not going to see any mint. No green. And no lime. Now the advantage of the 12 colors is I can see that there's yellow in here. And if I turn off the color, I can see it's not too much, but you can see the effect, right? But I can see also that there's orange in here. So you go to this yellow, go to merge, right? Now I'm looking at my color points here. From this yellow, I'm going to merge into the orange, the closest color point. Or if it was a lot of green, I could merge the yellow into the lime or the green. But I'm always merging into color points that are close to the color points in the pure spectrum of color. Come back here, and I'm going to go to this yellow, and I'm going to merge that into the orange. Now you can see that that really had an effect there, but then I come down to pure color and slide that over into the yellow a bit, right about there. Turn on my original, absolutely accurate, right? Then I go to my red. And I can see that that's very faint. It's going to be very small half tones. So I'm going to bring that color density up and change that to a tint of the red. So I'll bring that up in saturation. I'll turn this off so we can see that. And then I'll bring that up also with the tone curve. Now we're going to get bigger half tones for printing, better color density. We'll turn that off. Now if we go to the original, we can see that that had a really strong effect on this brownish color that we have here where the red is. So go back to the red and we'll bring that back into a tint very lightly so it's got zero black and then we'll go back to the original and then we can see how close we are. Just a few colors. Now here in printing I would interlock the black and I would leave the custom color golden yellow and the custom color red tint alone. I wouldn't interlock those but I would interlock the black. So you can see how easily you can go through and make these color adjustments and make the adjustments based on the color points in the pure color spectrum in digital color and get these down to just a few colors so you can print them on the four and six color presses. Now there's a lot of gray in here. If you want to bring in gray, you could do that. That would give us a gray in the separation. This would be the gray. That would be the black. I'll toggle that off. So once again, we can see how we can work with our color points by merging them and making adjustments to the pure color and then making adjustments to the pure color by bringing up the density and then bringing that back into a tint for better half toning, all working very quickly, very easily, and very effectively in the inkseps.com simulated process color separation app. We'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.